Hi, my name is Mike Kennedy. I've, uh, I've spent the last 15 years uh, working and recruiting for some of the biggest corporate employers in the UK. And in early uh, 2013, I set up assessmentcenterhq.com, which is a free resource for uh, people who are attending assessment days and assessment centers. And in this short video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about um, personality tests, um, often referred to as personality questionnaires, personality test questionnaire, it's the same thing. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, what they are and what you should expect and how to succeed in, uh, in your personality test. Okay, so what is a, a personality test or a personality questionnaire? Well, it's a form of uh, psychometric testing that's used, uh, widely used at assessment centres and assessment days. Um, quite often it will be used before the day itself and oftentimes you'll also have to complete one on the day itself. So uh, it's quite, it can be quite an exhaustive process. And basically what it is, is it's a, uh, it's a, it's a recruitment process that tons and tons of companies use now, which allows them to build a picture of a candidate's um, personality and working preferences. So it's, uh, it gives the employer a bit of an insight into how you tick and what your working preferences are. Um, and, uh, and, and to a certain extent, your, um, your, your skills as well, but it's, it's more measuring your preferences. Uh, it's not a test. It's important to remember that it's not a test in that there's no right and wrong answer. Um, so it's, it differs in that way to verbal reasoning tests or numerical reasoning tests. But even though it's not a test, um, you still want to put the, you know, put your best foot forward and make the best impression that you can. So what should you expect? Uh, ordinarily, a personality test um, will, will be, it, 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 nine times out of ten, it takes, it takes this, um, this shape. You will uh, there will be a statement on the page and then you will be asked to indicate uh, how strongly you agree or disagree with that statement and you will answer you know uh, up to up to 200 questions sometimes it's quite a bit less than that um, but you can answer up to you know 200 questions and there will be a statement on the page that says something like um, I, I, um, I am most effective when I work by myself for argument's sake and then you will be asked to specify whether you um, strongly disagree, disagree, um, you know, have, don't really, uh, you have neutral feelings, or you agree, or you strongly agree. So there's there's five things, um, and you have to basically for each statement that that you're given, you have to indicate on that pe uh, on that scale how how you feel about that. And in aggregation, after you know two hundred questions. The employer can build up quite a um, quite a, quite an accurate kind of um, uh, psychometric profile of, of you and what you prefer. So that's what a personality questionnaire is, and that's what you should uh, that's what you should expect. Okay, so I'm going to give you three tips for um, personality test success. Uh, number one, don't overthink your answers. It's really important that um, that you. Uh, you it, I mean, it's it's linked to um, to my to my second tip, which is don't uh, don't spend too long on on each uh, on on each statement. It's very much about um, your gut feeling. It's very much about um, your initial feeling and your initial response. So um, so don't overthink it. Answer quickly. That would be my first two tips, because uh, in most cases, your initial in your initial reaction, your initial instinct will be um, the most accurate reflection of you and how you would respond to that in the real world. And tip number three is um, make sure that you answer with an at work mentality. Some people, um, when they do a psychometric, uh, when they do a, a personality test, uh, they go into it with a really professional mindset and professional outlook to begin with. Um, but by the time they get to, you know, question 95 or something like that, they, it can be, become a little bit monotonous and some people can sometimes slip into their sort of at home mentality there you know what you want to do is retain your professional mentality using an, an at work outlook while you're answering these questions and keep that focus in mind because if you don't do that what happens is when the results are, are, are produced um, it can lead to a muddled personality profile and uh, and that will very very rarely um, uh, benefit your chances of success so um, so don't overthink your answers answer quite quickly and use an at work uh, professional uh, mentality and mindset okay um, 
we've got a, a full guide on personality tests over on our site. So if you head to assessmentcenterhq.com slash PT for a personality test, then uh, you will find uh, our, our personality uh, questionnaire guide on, on there. Uh, there's some tips on there, there's some uh, some videos, and also there's a free practice personality test that you can take, um, which will obviously help you get accustomed to the format, the timings, and what you should expect, which will be a huge help to you on the day. So head over there, assessmentcenterhq.com slash PT. Okay, I hope this video, uh, I hope this video helped, and I uh, hope to see you over at the site. Uh, we've got tons of stuff on there that will help you ahead of your assessment day. Um, we've got that many guides. Uh, you you be uh, you'd be hard pressed to uh, to find a more exhaustive resource on the internet. So go over there and, and check it out, and I will see you soon. Thanks.